the glitch, yo. SP 404 in effect. Young Kazal Organism on the beat. Delicious Vinyl's finest. Delicious Vinyl's own 16-year-old prodigal son. Kazal Organism. And I just want to say peace to Delicious Vinyl. Peace to Chili T. Denise. Man, LAJ's in the house. And we having a good time up here right now. You're just looking at, at like a live rehearsal, basically, of me and Kazal. We happen to be, I think, the first father-son hip-hop duo collective, if you will, signed to a record company. And, of course, I'm happy and very blessed to say it's Delicious Vinyl, the same label that brought me into this game in 1988. That being said, Kazal makes all the beats. We are the Zizix. Z-Z-Y. ZZX, Kazal on the beat, that's how I like to say it, and this is how we like to play it. Come with it, Lord. Oh, wow, we're not, no, nah, we're on, we're on the air, B. Can't you just come with it? All right, you do that in the meantime. We'll talk to the world here. Hello, I'm Mellow Man Ace. I happen to be, hi. Oh, it's over here. Yo, welcome yes. to another delicious vinyl TV stream. We have Casal here, 16 year old producer. Wow. Yes, yes. And of course, his father. Proud daddy. Mellow Man yes. Ace. Peace, Mexico, Sonora, yeah. Mexico, everybody, peace to the world. Yeah, Latin blood representing. Indeed, indeed it is. You know, <laughs> I was just, I was just, um, we were talking off the camera, we were talking about the music and what it feels like to have a, a son like Kazal who just yep. happens to be a two-headed monster, I like to call him, you know, um, <laughs> with the beats, with the rhymes, any DJ, <laughs> um, you know, it's like, I learned the word joy, you know, when I see a, across the studio board, you know, and I, uh, you know, growing up in the inner city of Southgate, we didn't know the word joy. And so when I saw him for the first time across a 48 channel SSL board, I was like, wow, that's my son, you know, and oh I learned boy. the word joy. So, yeah. I know how that feels. Young Casal, you must be so proud. Absolutely. I mean, yep. you know, I mean, <laughs> At 12 years old, he realized that he wanted to do this. I didn't want him to do this because, you know, it takes a very strong backbone to be in the music business, you know, because not every day is a beautiful day when it's in true. terms of business, you know. And checks don't come regularly like your average person who has a job. Mm -hmm. I don't mean to say average, but, you know, the person who has a nine to five, they get their promise to check every two weeks. With creativity, it's a little bit different. So you have to always stay on top of what you're doing to sell a T-shirt, book a show, uh, you know, do a collaboration, perhaps. So you have to be on top of it. So I didn't, I don't, I didn't know that he had that in him. But now that I've watched him perform for two years, I know that he has it. And you're supporting him big time now. Absolutely. I mean, to me, it was like. You know, whenever he wanted a skateboard when he was little, I would go straight to Chad Muska or somebody like that. If he wanted a basketball, I'd go run into Kobe Bryant somewhere and say, give me a basketball, you know? <laughs> and if he wanted whatever it was, I just went to that person because I knew he liked it. But when it came to music and, and being raised in, like, studio sessions with Cypress Hill and it. De La Soul and people like that, he didn't know, or at least I didn't think that he knew what he was taking in. So did you have to think twice to support him and let him like be and bring all the talent out? Oh yeah, yeah, I did. I I thought four times because one, his grades had to be right, and number two, it was just something that I didn't want for him. You know what I mean? I was pushing him to play sports, athletics, and things like that. Um, but then he just got to the point where it happened. This instance, at a, you ready to go? Oh, we still need some more time. Um, a park league, he was playing basketball, and he made a nice move on the kid, and he laid the ball up with the left hand. Uh -huh. And then the, uh, the referee tells him, you're never going to be like Kobe Bryant. So he got very dejected from the sport and didn't want to play. 
So then the music was kind of there for him as a backup plan, you know, to what he like doing with playing basketball but i guess i was forcing him to play basketball so long story short a friend of mine sold me some equipment it was just a, a midi keyboard and a computer old computer top and he sold it to me for 260 dollars. so i said okay you want to play music you're going to start with the crappiest equipment possible and if you still like it in a year maybe we'll upgrade you to something better mejor no and so he started with that MIDI keyboard and that and that silly broken down computer and he was creating these amazing sounds and I was like wow yeah and that's you know? amazing because sometimes you can have like all the the best equipment but if you don't have the creativity you're not going to be able to do anything and then yeah, if you got right. whatever you got and you have this big creativity and making like just he was killing it it was like wow must have this just opened your eyes and your ears and just like started supporting him right away well not really it wasn't until my my boy who i bought the equipment from uh -huh. said to me one day he said hey i think he's ready Whoa. and i said ready means <laughs> a lot it's a big word you were like, scared you were like no my baby yeah yeah i was like ready ready for what ready to go to school ready to go what <laughs> like he's ready and i knew what that meant so he, I, I was working on a record and I heard this track he was doing in his bedroom one day and I was like, wow, that I need that beat. And it turned out to be a song called Green Eye Monster. Um, you can check it on my YouTube page. <laughs> Cheap <laughs> yeah, yeah, plug. <laughs> uh, official Mellow Man Ace at YouTube. Uh, and you can check it out. But it, was, it turned out to be Green Eye Monster and then from there he just took it and ran with it. Yeah, I... I got a chance i got an opportunity to listen to his set last week actually and i was just blown out by his sound it was so so amazing i was like wow just great. may as well let him sound. talk he's right here Get it. come here Yo. so they can see you you are stream job. right now because what you're gonna hear is like gonna blow your mind out yeah <laughs> thank you fam man just here um, it was crazy, man. We was, we was just doing a freestyle thing at X Large Los Angeles on Saturday, and uh, I came with the impression I was just gonna be playing some beats. Um, I knew Fat Lip was there, but I didn't think he was gonna bust or nothing. So I just went about my my set. Fat Lip got up on the mic and just started freestyling, man. It was crazy. I Found turned around, yo. Found I it dope. It was turned just around. A magical I see moment, right? Mad cameras out. <laughs> I'm like, yo, what is this? So like. Next day, like, there's this mad video on YouTube, me and Fat Live rocking it. It was real dope. I checked it out. I checked it out. <laughs> it was amazing. Just the bomb. Yeah. Um, honestly, the reason why, like, I guess you could say the reason why I make beats is because yeah. when I came across, like, the knowledge as to what a producer even is, like, what a producer does, the process of making a beat. Yeah was like when I was 12 and I was like, dude, yeah. like I, this is something I could do, you know? And it just so happened at the time that when I came across yeah. that knowledge, my parents were um, in the process of splitting. So it was like, things got crazy at home. It was like, the only thing, the only time stuff yeah. made sense was when I was like making a beat. Cause at, at least at that moment, everything made perfect sense to me, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, that's, that's really why, I mean, I would just spend mad hours and it was because like that's where everything just clicked. I didn't have to worry about nothing. It just all made sense right there. That's why you were not like so into the basketball because you prefer your moment alone with you and yeah. your music. Yeah, that exactly. Was the moment you were enjoying the most. And along with that kind of came to like the overstanding that that's all our family knows how to do is just chop drum breaks and samples, write uh, flows. Maybe throw a baseball at you, but that's all we know how to do. <laughs> you grew, you grew in it, so yep. you have it in you. Yeah, yeah. So, um, are you guys ready to start dropping some beats? No, I am. I am. You ready? Okay, so let's do this. And after we're gonna have an interview with them, we're gonna keep on talking about their future projects, their actual projects, and more. So yes, yes. you better just stream and post it everywhere, retweet everywhere, cause this is about to go down. This is girly stuff. Mellow Man Ace, Kessel in the house, delicious vinyl.
Uh, that's my first single banging in the in the background. Chili T got it cracking. I'm gonna do it like this. Check it out, yo. Check it out, yo. Check it out, yo. Cuando llego a la casa, esto es lo que pasa. Empiezo a gozar con toda la raza. En el micrófono te digo el rapeo. Soy el mejor y eso es lo que creo. El apellido es Reyes. No somos magos. Somos los buenos. No podemos ser los malos. Me gusta hablar. Ah, ah. Word, word. What's up, everybody? How you feeling tonight? It doesn't feel like a Friday to me. Let's do it. Let's get into some, some more stuff. We want to get in, just get on with the rehearsal and do some more things for you, some more ideas that we got coming. I want, again, once again, Big Up Delicious Vinyls, the record company that we roll with, true indeed. We like to call this next one, what are we doing? Oh man, this you might seen the video to this one already on YouTube. Go ahead and bring yes, it. Sir. Yeah. <laughs> man, I, I love this. This is it. This is it. You Superman, all right, but your speed is all runny Dirty. and tunny. Funny, I'm Dave Chappelle skittin'. The physics, you gotta spit it like you're living. I play for the Dodgers, I'm Roy Campanella. I don't tour Rihanna and slip like Cinderella. I'm coming with the Zizix, no matter who it is. It. They call me Mellow Man, but change my name to the Zizix. What, what, the Zizix? What, what, the Zizix? What, what, the Zizix? What is it? The Zizix? What, what, the Zizix? What, what? This is it. What? What? This is it. What is it? This is it. What? What? This is it. What? What? This is it. What? What? This is it. What is it? This is it. What? What? This is it. What? What? This is it. Yo yo, it's our organism. So you take my order. The rest of nigga that gets Cadillacs at McDonald's, I want it in the bucket. The kid Cadillac, yo, the kid is thick, big yo. Making niggas bleed with the core scale trigger. We buy well for mail. You see these snails, fresh Taco Bell, fly on for bell. Got ice cream sneakers and I put them in the freezer. Research on YouTube to give y'all a teaser. I'm a same student. You said school with Jacob Bombs. Does that make sense? That makes more sense than Kong. Yo, what's up? Is this whack? Go back to something crack. Sipping on my civil act just to give you fast facts. Meet me in the zone with some quarter inch twice. Cause the music will do it, man. I'll be dunking on the drugs. I'll open up my skittles. skittles. I'll blow my riddles. riddles. Press up on your physics. physics. And then go to physics. What, what? The physics. Yo, yo, yo. The physics. What, what? The physics. What is that? The physics. What, what? The physics. What, what? What? This is ex what what? This is ex what is this? This is ex what what? This is ex what what? This is ex what what? This is ex what is this? This is ex what what? This is ex what what? This is ex check it out, yo. We bugs bunny flipping. You dirty little rascal. Put syrup on my burger. We never drink Tabasco. Never drink that. That's a long talk, that it. The Zizix got me tripping like a shipper in the caddy. But why does the Zizix flow west to the east? Hey, yo, so I can let him know about the beat masterpiece. Oh, yo, I buy chicken bits, kilowatts, power bills. But yo, my sister the cross fades, use a satellite palace. Longitude, latitude, locate the Zizix. Put the bacon in the beat like a cellulite palace. Oh, on the horse shack, just met Jimmy Walker. It was a good time for all long. Welcome back, Carter. Tom and Jerry bullshit, packed with a slap kill. Yo, we throwing TVs, vinyl records back, slap here. As the credits roll, escort you out the business. Cause that behind the bodyguard, high those. This is the Zizix. What, what? This is Zizix. What, what? This is Zizix. What, what? This is Zizix. What is it? This is Zizix. What, what? This is Zizix. What, what? This is Zizix. What, what? This is Zizix. What is it? This is Zizix. What, what? 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 This is Zizix. What is it? This is Zizix. What, what? This is Zizix. What, what? No doubt, no doubt. Why don't they play? Baby. Yo, how everybody feeling today? Oh yeah, okay. It's out on the SP 404. Big up to Flying Lotus. Big up to DBIC. Especially DBIC for hanging out with Kazal and really putting him up on a lot of different styles of what's going up 
what's going on in the beat field you know what i mean those brothers like ashtray jenkins and brothers like that like TV, knowledge fly low flying low knowledge Lock man and kids doing special stuff man very much so we're gonna keep this rehearsal moving for the world right now is that i like to do one of my favorite joints we like to call this one spectacular what is birth because we did four different verse four different hooks and i can't remember none of them <laughs> <laughs> for one song Let's so go, enjoy yeah. enjoy the number we want to say peace to everybody in the d peace to everybody in new york city peace to everybody in la peace to everybody in cuba peace to everybody in puerto rico santo domingo and all over the world in the uk yes peace yes. to y'all peace to brother paul uh, paul dj paul weston peace let's get off in it man. go ahead this is exquisite, spectacular. This is way the day. Earth, wind, and fire. This shit get hit game. Yo, spectacular. The time is really cram. A little cap shader, a lot of James Brown. Yo, spectacular. The door is a roost. A little bit of woo, the leaders of the news. Yo, spectacular. The minutes, the ones. A bit of the song. Yo, it's now when they're young. And you're on charge by the fish. The perverted the high contrast. Tantalism, organism. It's a physics. I don't reach the bit. It's a bit of a bit. It's a bit of a bit. I'm not tripping, I'm the crabby, 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 cr
Get off in this uh back to our scheduled program hip hop music. By the way, that was a very nice live set beat set there. Thank you, sir. By the young organism. Yes, yes. I'm very proud to see the young man come into his own as we are and happen to be each other's support system along with the delicious vinyl staff that cheers us on to do well in this game. Very much so. But right about now, what do we want to do? What's the next one we want to do? Get off into Magnificent? We're going to try something do. We're going to try something different. Something different. Can we turn the mic up a little bit hotter? Just a little bit? Bring the beat. Bring the beat. We want to see you jumping in your computer right now. <laughs> like if you was in the park in Brooklyn when this beat comes on. Go ahead, Kazazi. Peace to my man. Tango Slim, peace to my brother QBN. We on a world tour with your bellow, my man. Go on each and every place with the mic in my hand. Asia, Africa, Mexico, Tokyo, we went to the place where the people tell us how to go. We on a world tour with your bellow, my man. Go on each and every place with the mic in my hand. Asia, Africa, Mexico, Tokyo, we went to the place where the people tell us how to go. The horrible MCs and record companies. Get the geek and chain like the ancient Chinese. Woo! You're busting with the architect. The bilingual blows on the entire world. This is day first, so I seen them come and go Cause they do it for the love They do it for the hoes and Child uncomparable, never auto-tuning Legendary flow since blood, why and still and Still very relevant, I'm not King Cole To a date I'm unforgettable, but rappers be that because they got a record deal. Damn, resident, my dude, I'm the one who signs and seals. Woo! So let's keep it 100. You're not the godfather, I'm he the, the one who's done it. The grand visit, forever relevant. Man. You insignificant, my dude, I'm magnificent. Tour, tour, put your fellow my man. Go each and every place with a mic in our hand. Asia, Africa, Mexico, Tokyo. We went to the place where the people told us not to go. We on the war tour, put your fellow my man. Go each and every place with the mic in our hand. Asia, Africa, Mexico, Tokyo. To the place where the people told us not to go. Oh, you think we are with the highest up and the high? Yo sé que tú no puedes con tu mentalidad. Soy el general, el capicú, el comandante. Invento los estilos porque hay que mover para adelante. Caballero, todo el mundo sabe aquí que la vino no siquiera si no fuera por mí. La vida es pingón de pies de cabrón. En México me llaman el rapero más chingón. Le di a Lua lo que es el reggaetón y no me importa tres pingas lo que diga Calderón. El que quiera que venga como revenga. Te meto el filo y te parto la venda. Y oye, que nunca se te ocurra darte crédito cuando no pagas el duda. Me dicen que el camino del oeste es pacífico. Melo Man Ace. El Magnifico Tour Tour With your fellow my man We're going to each and every place With a mic in our hand Asia, Africa, Mexico, Tokyo We're going to the place Where the people told us how to go You are the Tour Tour With your fellow my man We're going to each and every place With a mic in our hand Asia, Africa, Mexico, Tokyo We're going to the place Where the people told us how to go Rollin' to the right beat and It's una canción about how to show you shit and So to wake it, what I am just waiting Don't keep your mind different with the sounds I'm saying So all the party people that is on the fucking info And he's singing for Dino ever since the first single And rainy after doing my dance And my single man to go side will put you in a dance So you your body like you did with party You won't be fighting an alien you Damn, with the funky sound of yours truly The original M-E-L-M-A-N-A-C-E And I can't have fun and I'm not be number one And I'm about to have some mental who's like running the place And everywhere that I perform and do a show As long as you know that You are the boy that's well with the mellow my dad Go each and every place where the lights in our hands From Asia, Africa, Mexico, Tokyo We went to the place where the people told us not to go We are the boy that's well with the mellow my dad Go each and every place where the lights in our hands Africa, Mexico, Tokyo, we went to the places where the people told us to go. The man's playing games, some people say the man's insane. Yes, that's all. You don't stop, cause that organism means you don't stop. Yes, that's all. All over the world, we say peace. Peace.
Word. Wow. Having some fun in here. Big up Chili T, Denise, DVTV, or in your area. We want to say peace, especially to everybody in the UK. I'm making a lot of friends there recently. I just want to say peace. DJ um, CRF, no doubt. My man Paul Weston. Big up to y'all. Everybody doing real hip hop and celebrating real culture. Delicious vinyl way. All right? The Zizix, ZZY, ZZX. Look us up. I'm already checking my Facebook and I'm getting a lot of friend requests. I want to say peace to you. Thank you. That's real dope. But now, what we want to do here, I think we're going to do one more number. We like to call this one the rhythm feature in Moni Love. Of course, Moni is not here right now, but we're going to give you what the record sound like featuring uh, Liz Page as well, no doubt. This is the next single off the Get Down to Zizix. Delicious Vinyl is the label recognized. It's real hip hop. Ain't nothing phony, no baloney. Nothing but sweet sausage pepperoni. It is what it is. You ready? Okay, while well, he's getting it together, we want to say we want to thank you for welcoming <laughs> us into your living room tonight. Big up Rick Ross, Mike Ross, big up Chili T, the whole posse, True and D, and all delicious vinyl artists, past and present, and into the future. We want to say peace to you, being part of the family, True and D, and we goes a little something like this. <laughs> You got the rhythm, he got the rhythm, I got the rhythm, he got the rhythm, you got the rhythm, so we all got the rhythm, I got the rhythm, Cops got the rhythm, you got the rhythm, Chip got the rhythm, you got the rhythm, I got the rhythm, he got the rhythm, yo, 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 sessions led to my profession, it all clicked like road to be connected for real, but the handle pops was the mantle, let me search up J Dilla samples, BT Express, the Joe Baton breaks, Teddy Bobby Cords and photos with Jade. Step into that way to teach the on sense. S the V, boys to men. Yo, Barley and Simbo, DJ Premier, Night Wonder, Chocolate Boy Wonder. Yo, notice, have me take notice. D B I C, I C, Ram L C, Janembo, Jarrell, Nas Rock was up, Villa and the Gorillas. Yo, our future, Slick Rick, Ruler, Duh, and Wolf to Miracle, Native Tongue. We got the rhythm of this is the sexy part right here. Rhythm is what you need, but you let it touch your feet. Got the rhythm of this. We got the rhythm of this. Rhythm is what you need, let it touch your feet. This ain't class, this won't be made in this era I defy, that's why I rock Moni and my little zika zika Cause I'm from the rhythm, so my world is organic So the art from the heart, so to motivate the planet Move it up, my, for the movers and the shakers For the five money makers, get back the label paper We on another level, still dancing with the devil in his rare Like a black man with black holes But really know what's nothing, cause the Z's never fucking To sit you with the goods, but the words and the words ain't burn I'm starting to order myself, I move real self With Kazala for Delph Gotta get to the dope for so many reasons The bump has money in the change and that it seems It's not a beat, but tune for the rhymes and the beats Cause I'm nice on the mic like a box, the IPs Play! Let it set you free Yo, we should do a dance set like this I am so excited Yeah, Real hip hop shit Let it set you free Let the rhythm take you Yeah Do your thing, love oh, 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 oh. The ill filters. Get down, look at this. Woo! To a D. I love it when you do that sound. Word is more. Uh, take it to the. Uh, t- <laughs> takes me all the way home with it, yes. Yes, indeed. I thought we could do that in front of like, like a small spot with a Gibson or a room here with like two other people, and it still feels the same. Yo, how did you like my Michael Jackson spin I've added? I like it, Elvis. (laughs) Curtis Mayfield swag. Word. That's my new Jackson spin. Word. Word. 
What else we got? What you want to do? Uh, are um, we? Uh, you want to do like some some talk show swag with Denise? Yeah. Uh, until she uh is here with us, let's uh continue on with the presentation. Bring something else, Lord. Okay. What did you have there? <laughs> Young Kazal on the beat. 16 years old. Somebody help me send him to college. And cop the new single on the listenfinal.com. Thank you. Welcome to the rehearsal for the Sizzix. Nice little dress rehearsal. Plus a piece of the world. I am Mellow Man Ace. That is Kazal Organism. And together we form the Zizix like Voltron. Check this out right here though. Check this out. Deliciousvinyl.com. Get all your fly wares. You fly records, you fly music, skateboards, all types of stuff. Go ahead, bring it. You ain't scaring me, son. You threaten me with a good time. You want to send this one out to Guru? Heavy D and MCA. Guru, rest in peace. The God type of divine, raise your intellect It's for the hip hop, just cash and checks Do the knowledge, ours ain't the wisdom Spec your old earth, blessed queens in the system My flow nebula, see the clouds Old to magnetic over rhythms play loud See the future right now, why wait for later? The new tablet sent by the savior I shine quasar, active galactic Positive energy for negative bastards Asteroids float, builds and destroys Any affirmation, no second toy point A big bang bang but not like the Derby Come see me enjoy the God's fury Radio jets that keep you amplified Demolish dark forces through radiant sources Crush the hypocritical, ridiculous, quite metaphysical. In 1990, NASA scientists said Mellow Man was the nastiest lyricist. 2012, they saw something scary. The second coming of the low air theory. You on point, yo? On the time, pop. Just play the transistor and reset the clock. With no doubt, no doubt, I can do that then. As I step into the realm of those who still air and play time. time. Rotation on the station. Your basic thoughts have zero motivation. I slide through with infinite creations uplift my umma through any situation world life yeah it seems i'm at my best making it up to google through the words i manifest yes yes positive baby that's because i want to be with your third eye As I'm dipping through the cosmos and the black holes Illuminating those that come with whack flows Stopping miracles occur for your average Joe And a point where self-esteem is yeah. at an all-time low no. Some of this whackness I can't condone So I depleted like the very old zone What's up, little God? I'm the ring around Saturn Taking 20 years just, just to, to figure out my pattern The solar system never seen since you call Realign the planets while you home playing car Banging that whackness, they got the game dying So dying. next time it's raining It's just God crying Holy like science, cause hope to be lying on real leadership to form an alliance. So please overstand, there's nothing more than science to breathe a little life into something that's dying for real. Yes. Yes. 
Very spiritual piece of MCA. Rest in peace, Guru. Rest in peace, Heavy D. Rest in peace. Rest in peace, Tina Marie, and all true heads that's passing on. It's very spiritual hip hop. Yes, you got to feel that because that on the beat. You want to say peace? I am mellow man that is because that organism, the physics word. How you liking it so far, huh? Yeah, you liking it too? It's nice and raw hip hop there, yeah, yo. Yeah, that's sexy, man. Yo, sexy, yo, sexy, hey. sexy, sexy. Over there, I see you over there, yo. Oh, you too. Man, that's you my too. Humphrey Bogart. You grinding Bogart. my gears, Lois. You grinding my, my gears. That's my Humphrey Bogart, yo, there, yo. So, yo, step to the foot. I want to ask you a question or two. Okay. Here's your cue right here. Here's your mark right there. So, what's it like knowing you like being like a part of like a hip hop family, known like of ledges like your uncle Sand Dog of Cypress Hill, of course your dad, uh, <laughs> of course your dad. <laughs> you know what does that feel like as a young sixteen year old like now doing his thing and coming into his own? Um, I mean. Sometimes, I mean, it depends on if I think about it or if I'm just going by my day. Like, if I really stop and think about it, it feels just simply esoteric. Something that has to happen just because that's how our family is. It's like, that's all we know how to do. It, it, and it doesn't go back just with you and Sam, but, like, even before that, we had jazz musicians in the family, um, Cuban military composers, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, we we can't do nothing else. You know what I'm saying? We wouldn't be happy doing nothing else. And I think it's just a divine thing that I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sleep on it. Once I know it's there, that's all I can do is just have fun with it. So it's like why try to think about it anything other than that? I'm sorry. Yeah, okay. Cassell, you must be feeling blessed by being born in this environment and Definitely. with your father as well. Yes, I'm proud yes. of him as well. Oh hell yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, I mean, I still listen to stuff when he's not looking. Like, I listen to all his old stuff. And I mean, it's in Spanish, and I don't know what the fuck he's saying, but it's like, it's like, even then, he, he, he went hard. So it's like, when fans think of, like, the one joint, Mentirosa, it's like, dude, there's so much more than that. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> listen to all the B-sides, yeah. you know, Mugs produced and everything. From the first couple albums to where he's at now, to where he's going, to what he's doing with me, his collaborative efforts, it's just like there's so much more to his career than just that joint, you know what I'm saying? He has joints and movies you probably are in love with, you know what I'm saying? Like, you just gotta pay attention. And it's nice, you're talking about this track, actually, Mentirosa, his single. Yes, yes. Because most of the time when uh, musicians or rappers want to make this big crossover, you would be, you're, you're imagining yourself being in America and singing or rapping in English. And yeah. your dad was doing it in Spanish. Mm -hmm. So that's mm -hmm. like, that that's what actually made you so big, like in America and the whole world, representing like your culture, your language. Tell us more about that. I just happen to be at the right place at the right time. You know, delicious vinyl, 1987, 88, you know. And, you know, they were about to launch if, at that time. Um, they only had, uh, at that time, I think, an artist by the name of Tone Loke, the other one by the name of Young MC. And those now, look at them, you know, brilliant, you know, careers and whatnot. And I was just, you know, at the right time at a studio session with DJ Muggs. And next thing you know, you know, we're... You know, Mike Ross and, and Matt Dyke asked me if I could rap, and I said, yeah, you know, I even rap in Spanish, and they put me on some tracks the next day, and they are like, guess what, kid, you got a record deal, you know, and um, and then from there, we were able to to to, to do a, 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 a sub-license, if you will, with Capitol Records, who happened to send a, a representative by the name of Kenny Ortiz down to uh, San Diego State University for a show I was doing with Tone Loke and T. LaRock from the Bronx. And um, I mean, next thing you know, Capitol Records 
buys out my contract at Delicious, I believe. And next thing you know, we're doing, you know, stuff on major labels. And that's when the song Mentirosa came out. But it was, a, it, you know, again, I didn't try to forcefully do it. You know, it was, it was, it happened. You couldn't control it, you know, the success of the record. And I think at that time we were, we were tested on, on Power 106 here in L.A. Okay. And on a make it or break it show of all things. And it beat Madonna and Janet Jackson and New Kids on the Block and all that stuff. And... And that's when I knew that we had a special record, you know? And in your language, that's what's, like, very well, yeah, I mean, important as well. Like, Latinos, we speak this way. If you're bilingual, we speak mm -hmm. with a bilingual tongue, you know? It's like we'll use some words in English, some words in Spanish. So it wasn't, like, something that was, like, a phony. It was how we actually did it, and I think that's what the people appreciated. About, yeah, Absolutely. Exactly. And as I was telling you, your flow, even in Spanish, it's different. It sounds so different. Like, you can really tell a yes, difference. Yes, I'm the best. <laughs> it sounds <laughs> really good, actually. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Thank you. And um, I feel so proud and I feel like just quite honored to have you here and, and seeing your son as well doing his thing. <laughs> thank you, because I was a fool. No, thank you. We appreciate that love. And, and you from being from Mexico, you know, and the stuff that you guys are doing down there. Uh, you know, I just want to say thank you for putting us on on the show today and just having a good time with us and getting to yeah. know us as people, you know, and entertainers and whatnot. It's, it's been a blast. Total a blast. good times. And yeah, shout out to Mexico and all, all Latin America. We're doing it here. And tell us, what are your actual projects right now or future projects? Well, I mean, this is the future. The Zizix is the future. And what we want to do is put out enough singles now on Delicious to eventually build up to an album to where you can really hear Kazal's production range, you know, and different styles that, that he's doing. And then lyrically, you know, lyrically what he's doing now at 16 eclipses a lot of what people are doing on your popular radio stations. So it's like we just want to continue making music. We're not going to put a timetable on it. Yeah. We're That's just going to continue about, making right? music, having fun, spreading the vibe. And, 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 and then just bring it to your town, whether it's here in Los Angeles, New York City, Miami, uh, the UK, Berlin, Germany, all that, you know. We just want to bring you the music and have some fun with it. All over the world. Worldwide music. We're going to be here a long time, you know. I think the Zizix Project is going gonna, is gonna to make a lot of noise by the time it's all said and done. So this is this is my the project I'm working on. I'm doing a little something else at home, you know, but okay. this is what helps me wake up energized and positive to, to face the world well i'm so glad that you guys are actually working together you were telling me earlier and uh, we were talking outside and you told me that seeing casal making beats and just shining just makes you feel that everything all the struggle everything just was worth it absolutely i mean growing up in the inner cities you know they didn't teach us the word joy you know what i mean and so when I first saw Kazal, you know, across the board is when I really learned that word and what it meant, you know. And, and now just having fun with him, it kind of has given me a spark plug, you know, to, to continue just having fun, this music, enjoy music and what it has to offer up until whenever I decide to not do it no more. Uh, that's, that's beautiful. Kazal, can you please tell us, like, you grew up in this environment. You grew up with all the Cypress Hill, and yeah. um, tell us how was growing up in that in that environment and like music, people. What were tell us in some a story, something you grew up with, something you can tell. <laughs> like stories too. <laughs> yeah, you can tell us an anecdote, of course. Honestly, dude, when I was growing up. Okay, yeah. Be nice. <laughs> That's Let what dad tells. Be nice. All right, growing up, basically. All I knew as far as like being in a musical heritage is like what was average and standard for me was having walking home from school or waking up in the morning with some candy playing video games and to the left you have gold plaques. So like me dude I didn't know what it was I was just like cool dude my dad has some gold stuff on the wall. You know what I'm saying? Like, he was going to shows. He would take me to stuff, to sessions with, like, Cypress, Dayla, whatever. But honestly, it wasn't until, like, more recently that I realized really, like, the weight 
of my family like because growing up you i'm just an innocent kid like this is all just home to me you know what i'm saying like going to the studio with my dad it was, it was just average you know what i'm saying like that wasn't special because i was just doing it so i mean if that if that's lame i'm sorry but like that's really <laughs> what it is like it's, it was natural for you yeah just yeah your everyday thing right yeah like if your dad's a painter that's gonna be average to you if your dad's a garbage dude that's gonna be average to you if your dad's a rapper and that's why you know it's gonna be average to you if your dad's like got gold records on the wall is just gonna be average to you you know what i'm saying because that's there every day you come home it's like oh yeah but not all the kids end up choosing the same career as their parents so when did you decide it like oh i got this in me and i i want to be yeah. like my dad or follow his steps um when i started making music that i could listen to more than the people i admire is when i knew like i could really make like a career out of this which actually wasn't until recently, like even after I dropped the Zizix. I, yeah. I, like at that point, I wasn't making stuff I could like listen to more than like say some slum or some tribe, you know? It's just till recently, I'm like, yeah, dude, I can really like do this. Do this, hell yeah. And I know your dad is a big influence, of course. And, yeah. But I would like to know which other people, producers, mm. artists have big influence. I can hear some Dilla influence. Yeah, of beat. course. I mean, that's the godfather, but I mean, honestly, I, I like to think of my style goes further beyond, like, what everybody's going to tell you. Because honestly, one day I might be listening to Marley Ball and, you know, Juice Crew. One day I might be listening to Rolling Stones. One day I might be listening to Old Dubstep. One day I might be listening to the Funk Records. So, I mean, it's much more diverse than I think a lot of people would think. And that's kind of what the instrumental album itself is going to explain. It's like inspiration comes from like hearing birds tweet in the morning when i'm taking a leak you know what i'm saying like um i mean if i guess if you want to talk names a lot of producers i look up to are like from the soul era like curtis mayfield um bach like dude just random stuff like jk is really cool from jamiroquai i like some that new stuff. stuff some new stuff you're listening right, right now um the new stuff i'm listening to um Honestly, the stuff I'm working with from the kids from my school is honestly, I listen to a lot of that. Um, I guess the fam Casey Veggies, I like that stuff. Um, I mean, the beat dudes too, but I mean, like, we kind of already went over that. But I guess um, the fam Flying Lotus, man, honestly. Because, I mean, when it, when it came to... The, like the main dudes that made me actually want to make beats the first one to kind of open my third eye to the whole like realm of production was Pharrell Williams honestly because when he dropped the um production on the Justified album for Justin Timberlake his first album I was like wow I could I could just relate to the music itself and just listen to, to the instrumental part like once I got FL I would just loop Pharrell beats like for like dumb minutes and just listen to it and study it. So I guess like the most important one at the at that time when I first started was Pharrell. And you guys will never hear any of that stuff because it was just like biting everybody and like finding my style. Do trust me. I think every I hope everybody goes to that phase where you just like bite everyone, but don't ever play that shit for anyone else. Like you're just trying to like learn. You know what I'm saying? And then from what you learn you come to make your own style because now that you've like mimicked everyone you look up to you can take parts from each cat you know what i'm saying to develop your own style and i think that's crucial to me because my influences are like so diverse that you know i take stuff from the neptunes from timbaland from jd of course i mean he him playing fantastic volume 2 and love movement when i was a little kid that's not just gonna be played and never like come through in the yeah. music. That's that seeps into your like it's your influence, into your DNA, dude. So like, <laughs> <laughs> so like now, I mean, you can probably tell more of that because that was more of the stuff he played. But from like the hip hop perspective too, I think it's really important because I rhyme as well. It's like, um, I like a lot of Gangstar, a lot of Brand Nubian, a lot of Jungle Brothers. That's where I study like my MCing from. Honestly, Chia Lee, um, 
native tongue cast. And what do stuff. what do you enjoy more, rapping or producing your beats? Honestly, dude, beats is my life. I actually don't like really take myself seriously and sing, but it's like I can do it, so I do it. And it's just recently that I've like started writing more and like really trying to get into like perfecting that craft. Just because I might as well, like if I if I'm beat blocked that day, then I'll just like take up the pen and the pad and just like come up with new rhyme schemes and stuff, like study other MCs. Just so that way I'm nice on both. So like if I ever get a show one day doing beats, I might pull out a mic and just be like, yo, here goes the verse right quick. You like to have fun. But it's true what you were saying uh, about you have all these influences, but you have to create your own sound. And that's yes. the difficult part. Because there's so many fighter-ass niggas You don't want to be sounding like somebody already. else. You want yeah. to be like, exactly. Yeah. And you're, I think you're doing it. To be original. Like, I know when I came out with my bilingual rap style, it was original. No, like, Public Enemy wasn't doing that. Or, you know, Beastie Boys wasn't doing that. It's, yeah. It was its own different thing. Like, Tone Loke didn't sound like Mellow Man Ace. Mellow Man Ace didn't sound like Kid Frost. You know what I mean? So it's like... I've always told him, be original at what you do. And even though you borrow from other people to get started, like, my thing was always LL Cool J and Run DMC. I've taken little pieces of them, you know, like, with the hat I wear has always been the Panama velour type of thing to represent Run DMC. And then the LL Cool J, you know, early on was just the, the, whole, the whole aura of being sexy a little bit on stage, you know, but... When you blend it all with the bilingual flow and what you do, it becomes its own originality. And I think that's something that I've always told him. Like, I remember early on when he was making beats, he, he sounded a lot like Flying Lotus. And I had to tell him, yo, that's, yep. that's garbage. That sounds just like Flying Lotus. Yep. Scrap it. And then he would go, oh, dad. And I go, yes, yep. scrap it. I'm not happy with it. <laughs> just, I don't like it. It's not you. So then little by little, that starts to chisel at his own originality as yeah. well with what he was listening to. And I think it was a very important part of just keeping it real, yeah. keeping it truthful, keeping it honest, and not just letting them make me a beat and go, oh, yeah, that's great. you know. And then somebody goes four years from now, that sounds just like Flying Lotus. He didn't sound original. Exactly. And then I got to go, yeah, you're right, because I didn't take the time to, to school him. Yeah. And so that, I think, really is where it comes from you know what i mean because there's there's that villa influence and you can hear it there's there's the dbc influence i don't know if yep. you know who dbc is and there's there's all kinds of sprinkles then there's samples taken from from past the hip-hop that's more of that you can really look at and, and then start to figure out like okay well maybe there's a little bit of marley mall in there, yeah, yeah a little bit of prince paul in there too so primo Pete Rock. Totally, but he has his own his own sound, actually. Yeah. Yeah, you can really tell it's Casal. And what about Latin hip hop, Mellow Man A? Well, I mean, hip hop is a universal thing, and my thing, the the wiser I get now, 45 years old, I, I look at it and, I, and it's like it's something. I don't want to separate anything and, and just be like, you know, it's it's a great genre of music that I've helped you know create and i think you know what the kids is doing with the reggae tone and stuff and blending different caribbean rhythms with it now is is it's a beautiful thing i mean it's all growth and it's got to be all positive you know what i mean um i'm, I'm happy to have been there you know and and be able to be uh, one of the building blocks for that entire movement and, and that genre of music you know what i mean uh Again, I don't like the separation of it, and I've been guilty of separating it. But again, the wiser I get and the older that I get, the more I see that it's just a universal thing just happened to be done by some Latino kids. So, um, like my son used to tell me, let's let's try to destroy, um, how you used to say, let's destroy the... I really hate the idea of like definitive genres. I right. think it's, I don't like it. Yeah, so that's now it's like I just want to just make music. And yes, I'm Cuban. I'm Afro Cuban. So it's like it's just Afro Cuban rhythm and Afrocentricity that's all inside the music. So it but doesn't you, matter. You don't want to be put in a box. You just want to. Yeah, especially with the Zizix now, it, it helps me just be all over the place. And, and that's what I'm real happy about. You can, I can tell you're happy. And I love what, how you guys are sounding. It was quite surprising for me. And are you guys going to drop any more beats right now? 
Uh, what you want to do? You want to you want to exit with something or? Yeah. We'll get him time yeah, to let's cue do it this. up. And uh, as for me, it's time to get on my walker. <laughs> you want to uh, give some shout outs to follow them on oh. people following you on your sites, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube channel. Oh, yeah. Most definitely check me out at on Facebook at Ulpiano Reyes, U-L-P-I-A-N-O-R-E-Y-E-S. That's the regular Facebook. And then you can find the music uh, page, the Mellow Man Ace there. And find me on Twitter, Mellow Man Ace. Official Mellow Man Ace at YouTube. Um, and check out the new videos and stuff that I'm doing for my separate stuff, including the stuff with my son. Um, check us out on deliciousvinyl.com. You can check us out on yep. uh, zizix.tumblr.com. All those things. Check out our SoundCloud. Uh, what's the SoundCloud, yeah? Sound de- uh, SoundCloud.com uh, forward slash Zizix. Z-Z-Y-Z-Z-X. Or cool. just search it. I mean, if you can't find it, yeah, it'll come right up. Search it up. Okay, also, please. Wait, so oh. you say, so what made you come up with the word Zizix? <laughs> well, okay. I'll tell you. Answer that question, please. No, nah, we were driving to Las Vegas, and we, ca- and we saw the road. It was called the Zizix Road. And then Kazal jumped on his cell phone and started doing uh, a Google search on what happened there, and it, it was really cool. So that's how we came up with the name. And what Thank happened you there? for asking, What happened by the there? Way. What happened there? What happened there? Basically, the Zizix is like if you go halfway to Vegas, like you said, you see in Baker, California, at the Kramer Junction, there's this spot called the Zizix Road. Now that that road you can tell is different from our stuff because it's like we added the extra Z. The Zizix Road itself is actually Z Z Y Z X, but we added the extra Z just to keep it linear. But basically, what it was, it was this like this like pseudo religious like compound ran by this dude named Curtis Springer. And like basically, you'd send him money, and then he'd like re- in return he'd give you like these like miracles in the form of oranges. What? And he'd send you these oranges, and then after he got cakes off that, he had like this radio show out there, and like and like he built the compound, the Zizix, basically. And there they would do like a bunch of creepy like rituals and. Go there. All the Hollywood, the, the A-listers from Hollywood, they would go there and they take a bath in the hot springs to get away from the paparazzi and the media and everything. And and so um, it was crazy and it just seemed like intriguing. The word itself doesn't mean anything, but to us, it just means everything. You know, it means everything that has a parallel. You know, the up, the down, the left, the right, the black, the white. Hence, the father, the son. That's a good story. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I didn't want to ask that question because it's like just a typical question. Yeah, Everybody dude, would no, ask, she's like, right. Everybody asks this question. Why that, that name? They always ask the same thing. So I just wanted to keep it cool, but it's I good that you. you brought it up, though. Well, so. thank you for cool. taking the time to, like, know, like, everyone asks us that, but for sure. Cool. So, yeah, and also follow Delicious Vinyl. We got to, um, you got to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and this is Girly Stuff. I'll leave you guys with Melo Mayonnaise and Casal. Thank you. Peace.
swag too. Oh, bad girl in the place bad too. Oh, you got the swag sauce, you drink the swag. Alright yo, so um it's like that and I'm about to get up out of here. I'm about to pass it on to my to my girl Denise Where this born um Huh? Where this born I was a, no I was about to say that, like I swear, I promise you. I was really about to say your name, but girly stuff or girl is tough, it's a play on words. It's a fly DJ. Um Hey man, it's true. <clears throat> and yeah, like that. I'm out. Peace.